the story that my grandfather wrote in 1935, the way he told it was that um, my great-grandfather, Joseph, was digging a well. Some southern soldiers came and arrested him and were ready to string him up on a tree right then and there. Uh, one version says that the neighbors rallied around. Another says that he said, wait for the presiding elder from Cochrane Chapel to come. He'll vouch for me. Um, maybe he was in the crowd. I don't know. But anyway, the friends and family vouched for him, and um, they left him alone, and the soldiers went away. And he survived, and so did Thus, I did. I wouldn't have been here if he, if he had been hanged. My granddad Whitlock ran off from home when he was 16. And he came down here to live with his Aunt Susan Grimes. And that was Aunt Fanny's mother. And she, she, was, she and her husband gave land for our school, DeWitt Perry. My grandfather also used to talk about taking the pigs to market. So they had pigs. Uh, and this is be from uh, this area. And he, would, he told about going down Turtle Creek to the market, and it would take it would be an all-day trip herding those pigs downtown. I have an abstract of title in there that dated 1919. And they were talking about doing, selling some property in downtown Carrollton. And it told how you found it. You would go to downtown Dallas or some uh, district down there, get on the Trinity River, come 12 miles north, and I believe the man's name was Hicks, or Nix, that had the property, and that's where the two railroads were at the time. Uh, Fernos had about 3,000 acres, it was cattle, and um, the Morgans had about 500 acres, and started with cattle and then went more to farming, but they were generally, the Morgans were the farmers and the Fernos were the cattlemen. Well, like in 35, old Denton, Used to be old in 77 Road right there. He owned 200 some acres in that property location down there. They farmed and sold their uh, vegetables and corn. And it uh, it was started in about 34, and I think it lasted three years. But they the farmers grew all this. You know, things were really rough. Nobody had any money, and the farmers had all this food and they couldn't sell it didn't know what to do with it. So the government came in and started the cannery. And the food was divided up among everyone, which fed a lot of people. But then after, they, and they, sometimes there'd be as many as three shifts. When the harvest came in and it had to be done, they'd work all, all night. And uh, really fed a lot of the people in Carrollton. And then in 37, they started a mattress factory here because the farmers couldn't sell their cotton. Nobody had money, so they made mattresses. Mother still ran that. Mm -hmm. 